More than 1,000 candidates are competing for 128 seats in Parliament, but there are only two main contenders in Lebanon's elections. Iran wants its local ally Hezbollah to keep its political power, while Saudi Arabia, once this country's main partner, is hoping to shift the balance back in its favor. Its allies are calling this election an existential battle to regain Lebanon's identity and end what they describe as Iran's occupation. But they face a strong enemy. What you are going to see as an outcome of this election probably is that you're going to see Hezbollah, an ally, uh, forming a very big uh, parliamentary alliance, while the opposition to Hezbollah very fragmented. Forces opposing Hezbollah are many, but they are not united. Divisions among Muslim Sunni politicians hasn't helped. Their leader, Saad al-Hariri's decision to suspend his involvement in politics and that of his party left a vacuum that could be filled by Sunnis allied to Hezbollah. 27 parliamentary seats are reserved for the community under Lebanon's sectarian power-sharing system. The Sunni community has thus far remained very lukewarm vis-a-vis -vis the elections. And particularly, this is not only because of Saad al-Hariri's actions, but rather because there is no real alternative and the elephant in the room, Hezbollah, is not being co uh, confronted by anyone. Hezbollah, an armed Muslim Shia party that's stronger than the state, says the elections are its most important political battle. Saudi Arabia withdrew from Lebanese politics in recent years because of Hezbollah's dominance and has shifted its approach. Its re-engagement seems to be worrying its opponents. Party leader Hassan Nasrallah accuses the country of using money to secure a victory similar to that achieved by the Sunni Muslim-led bloc in 2009. Geopolitical fault lines have long run through this country, and Sunday's election is set against the backdrop of a wider regional struggle. A win by Hezbollah and its allies would cement Lebanon in Iran's sphere of influence. The opposition knows it may not win a majority, but it doesn't want the Hezbollah alliance to take two-thirds of the seats in parliament. That would give it the power to institutionalize a new sectarian balance of power. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Beirut.